Hi, my name's Sue Bowler and today we're going to look at how to put a Qualitex microfoil, this red heart here, into a Qualitex deco bubble and I've actually used the deco bubble with the hearts around. This is the stylish heart so obviously they complement each other. Not probably one of the easiest techniques but uh, a few people have been asking recently how to do it and I thought that this would be the perfect op opportunity to demonstrate it. So the first thing we'll do is remove the, the bubble from its packaging. Obviously, as everybody knows, this is a plastic balloon and to make sure it inflates correctly, it has to have come out of a fresh packet and still have the moisture towel. Therefore, the balloon is still nice and moist and will stretch on inflation. The moisture towel has actually done its job now, so we don't need to worry about that. We're going to open up the bubble and we're going to access the entrance. Now you might find it easier just to pop a little bit of air into this balloon. And I'm actually going to demonstrate this today all with air. Okay, so that's just opened it up so that the foil can enter in quite freely. Now to get the foil inside, what you need to do is fold it carefully. If we overfold it and make it complicated for it to open, it's going to really struggle. So really just try and make it as easy as possible. So we're just going to fold it in half a crossways first. Then I'm going to fold it one third into the middle. Repeat on the other side. Don't score down because you'll mark the foil. Just gently fold it once again into the middle and just rolling it gently together like so. You're now going to take your balloon and hopefully we should be able to insert it inside. Again, just be as gentle as possible with the foil, otherwise, as I said before, you'll damage it and then all those effort, all the effort that you've gone to will be wasted. Okay, and then gradually the balloon has worked its way inside. So I've now got the valve still on the outside and I've also got the entrance of the bubble. Now hopefully, with a little bit of help, we should be able to uncurl the balloon. And it's just starting to open, which means that once we start to inflate it, it should completely open out. There we go. The most important part is to make sure that when we do inflate it, that the valve will open naturally. I'm going to start it off with a hand pump just to try and ease it open gently. But if I was to do this entirely with a hand pump, it would be quite a lengthy job. So this will just allow the, the balloon to open. There. So I've now got the foil open nicely. Now I shall continue to inflate the foil with a hand pump, but I'll take over with a, an electric air inflator in a moment. Now at the moment you can see that the foil is beautifully inflated. The problem that we're going to incur is that when we start to inflate the bubble balloon, the pressure inside the balloon will change and it will actually allow or it will actually affect the, the foil balloon inside and it will start to go down, which you will see. But because this balloon is valved, we can go back to it afterwards. So let me show you. I'm actually going to use the Air Force 4 um, with the insider tool that's used for putting balloons inside balloons. But because this is on a hose, it means that the inflation is nice and gentle and it doesn't damage valves um, and foil balloons. So I'm just going to gently slide the nozzle, I don't know if you can see, into the bubble and that means it's not going to put any pressure on the foil in any way. I'm just going to put my foot on the foot pump. Now the bubble is fully inflated and as you can see the foil has actually gone down 
And I, I expected that to happen, as I said to you earlier, that the, the pressure will change and affect the, the foil inside. I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second. So now all I need to do is go back to my foil balloon. Um, I'm going to use my hand pump. And I know it doesn't need an awful lot of inflating. Just enough to correct that deflation. Maybe just one more. Don't be tempted to over inflate it. Now, to seal the balloon off, I'm going to pull the, the foil balloon right down so it sits very neatly at the base of the bubble. And at the moment, obviously, the balloons are both still open. I'm going to twist the bubble and the foil together so that they're connected. And I'm going to use a Qualitex 160Q to seal that closed um, by stretching the 160 around the neck. It will really create a very, very strong connection on that twist. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to seal the twist. And we're going to knot the 160Q on both sides. Now I have the heart sitting inside the deco bubble, which I think is, as you can tell, is a really nice effect.